welcome to the nail engineer and we've got another Madame Glam swatch-a-thon video today um, with these nine colors here so let's start off with these five and we've got sparkly autumn which is a lovely purpley glitter color um, now it's looking a little bit brownie and bronzy on the screen here so I'll get some shots in daylight um, kind of similar to um, Shimmer Lavender which is another one that's like a, a purpley glitter and for some reason under artificial light tends to look a little bit browny um, but you can see with them side by side here that this one is definitely a bit more kind of plummy so I'll get some, uh, some shots in daylight just so that you can see the difference between the two. Next up we've got Perplexed and then Vivid Purple, Light Lilac and then similar but with a bluer tone we've got one of the newer colours Kind of Wonderful. So let's get on with the swatching. And let's kick things off with Sparkly Autumn, which is a glitter polish with very small particles and in person it's purple and sparkly. On here it's looking kind of blacky bronze. Next up we've got Perplexed and this one is one of the sheerest Madame Glam polishes that I actually own um, apart from the ones that are meant to be sheer it takes quite a lot of coats to get a good opacity on it you can see there with one coat it's very very um, translucent next up we've got vivid purple and I'm not really a fan of the purples but I actually got this for a few um, Halloween manicure ideas that I've got um, and also the girls like purple so I've got to please the girls that's looking a bit uh, a bit wishy-washy but we'll see how it goes on second coat next up we've got light lilac which I actually got um, to replace uh, an OPI lilac that I already had um, that I had bought from an online store which I didn't realize was in the US called Beverly Beauté um, a word to the wise do not order anything from this place because at least two of the six polishes that I ordered turned out to be fakes and apparently it's a known thing with this particular supplier so you have been warned this one anyway is going on really really nice and I think that it'll definitely be opaque in two coats and last of the five we've got kind of wonderful which is this kind of bluish lilac color and when it comes to purples this is my favorite kind of purple Wow, that's like uh, pretty much opaque on one coat. Let's hope it doesn't wrinkle. So, as is often the case after curing, um, this one here, Sparkly Autumn, has taken on more of a, a purple plum tone. Um, and then here are the other four. Let's get on with the second coat. Perplexed will not be fully opaque because this takes at least three coats and you can see even with a generous application it's still quite sheer. Light Lilac which is really quite opaque so this is definitely a two coater and it hasn't wrinkled one bit which is great one of the problems that you have with other brands of 
um, gel polish with these lighter colours is that they can be quite prone to wrinkling. Um, but I've actually yet to discover a Madame Glam um, colour that wrinkles. And finally, kind of wonderful, which does look opaque. Um, I reckon this would be probably really good for like ombre fade so that you don't have to keep going over because ombre fade can be a bit of a ball ache when you're working with, uh, with gels. So if you've got a good opaque uh, colour to use, it's very, very helpful. I think I'll definitely be using this one on my Halloween manis. Oh, it's a bit. Okay, let's get them cured. So, after curing the second coat, um, the sparkly autumn looks to be completely opaque and quite true to the colour in the lid. Perplexed is going to need another coat and so is uh, Vivid Purple. But these two, um, Light Lilac and Kind of Wonderful, are good to go. Just on a side note, I've just been um, top coating my pops um, off camera and I went from the Sparkly Autumn to Kind of Wonderful Pop and I don't know if you can see there but there are tiny little bits of glitter in there so watch out for Sparkly Autumn, she is a bleeder. So after four coats I'm finally satisfied with the opacity of these two and we've got perplexed and vivid purple which has been top coated. Okay let's move on to the next four. So the next four we have got royal blue and what a night which is a glitter polish and I was expecting it to be less navy than this it looked much lighter blue um, on the website and this one is called evening teal and again this one looks a bit different to on the website but I was hoping for that because the one on the website the pictures on the website look a bit kind of too muddy green whereas this is definitely a more dark turquoise like true teal color which I'm really glad of not as glad as Katie's gonna be because it's one of her favorite colors and then finally we've got love and mercy which is a multi glitter um, kind of gunmetal with little bits of pink glitter little bits of blue glitter little bits of gold glitter all sorts in there so it's the kind of thing that would probably go nicely with just about any outfit Let's crack on with the swatching. First up, Royal Blue. Now this is looking quite purpley actually. In fact, it's looking to my naked eye a bit similar to Vivid Purple in colour. Um, although a bit less wishy-washy on the first coat. See that? It's really quite similar but let's see how it cures next up we will try what a night and sometimes these glitter colors can be quite sheer on the first application and then correct themselves on the second coat in other cases they can be never fully opaque like with a glittery plum uh, you can see there yes it's very sheer only time will tell now evening teal which I'm thinking of doing with gold accents in a kind of uh, art deco theme manicure. Maybe even copper since it's got a little bit more blue to it than I thought. Copper might be quite nice. That's just me getting a little bit of fluff off of the brush. Which I've never used it so must have been on the pot actually. And then finally, Love and Mercy. Quite thick, but you can see it's quite sheer as well. 
and on first coat it looks pretty unimpressive. But let's give it a chance. So after curing, um, actually I am quite impressed. Um, Royal Blue looks to be fully opaque. And you can see that it's a little bit more purpley than on the lid. What a night definitely needs another coat. I think that one might just do it, but gosh, look at all of those glitter particles. Mm, mm, mm. Evening teal, definitely too sheer. But will three coats be enough? And let's go in for a third with Love and Mercy. So that's all the samples done and cured up. Um, in the end, three coats were enough to make Love and Mercy and Evening Teal go opaque. So let's just have a rundown of all of the colours. First off, Sparkly Autumn. Perplexed. Vivid Purple. And now that they're cured, you can see with the naked eye, probably more so than on this video, that actually they're not so similar, um, Vivid Purple and Royal Blue. Although Royal Blue is still a bit more purpley than I wanted. Next up, Light Lilac. Kind of wonderful. Royal blue. What a night. Which I think is going to become one of my favourites. Evening teal which is definitely more bluey green than it's coming across it looking a little bit muddy on screen. And finally, Love and Mercy. And you can see that it is opaque. When you hold it up to the light, you can still see through it a little tiny bit. So I hope you like this swatchathon, and just remember to check out my other videos for this Laboutin manicure and how to do strong natural nails using the gel builder um, builder in a bottle product thanks for watching catch you in the next one